Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been a little bit MIA. I feel like I say that literally on every single video, but sorry for that. So today I thought I would come back and do a vlog. Just like a little day in the life vlog of someone who doesn't really do anything interesting. So let's see how this goes. I also got a new little tripod to hold up my camera. And my arm is already hurting and it's only been like two minutes. <laughs> so while I've been a little MIA from YouTube, we've been doing a lot of stuff around the house, a lot of stuff in the yard, um, and just a lot of like fun projects, stuff like that. So recently we finally did our bedroom and I will do a whole video about that eventually, <laughs> maybe when the bathroom's done, it's almost done. But we did pretty much finish our bedroom, so I'm gonna show you that. That's where I am right now, it's very bright in here. I chose a room with a lot of windows. <laughs> So here is our bedroom, here's our bed over here. See how there's so many windows? Oh, uh, there's Nala. <laughs> but yeah, this room was just tan and brown and ugly. And now it's very bright. And also we got this cow skull, which I think is so cool. I'm very excited about that. It's amazing what a little bit of paint can do and some cleaning. Another thing that's pretty exciting is that we started our coffee bar. I've always wanted like a super nice coffee bar. You should see my Pinterest. That's the whitest thing I think I've ever said. Look how cute it is already. I love it. The color was already perfect. We didn't have to paint it or anything. Um, please ignore this wall. We still have to put some trim up and stuff and finish painting this paneling, but it looks so cute. And then we got a little shelf. We're gonna paint it white because it's wood. We're gonna put it up here and then hang mugs from it. I'm very excited. Look how cute. We are also pretty much done with the kitchen, so I'll show you that as well. I don't think I've really like shown any of the room so far, um, but I'll give you a little preview of the finished house tour. So here's the kitchen. I'm obsessed with it. We still have to get rid of the popcorn ceiling, but that's for another time. I'm obsessed with it. This little island here is from Ikea. The stools are from Target, I believe. Chandelier is from Wayfair, and then I just basically painted everything. Painted the countertops, I painted the cabinets, we changed out the hardware. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with it. This kitchen is like my favorite place to be. Today is also a really good day to vlog because I'm getting a very exciting package in the mail today from the Magic Candle Company, and I've been waiting for this package literally for like a month, so very excited. I don't even remember what I ordered, so I'll do a little like review of the products. I'm so excited. And I'll show you guys what I'm making for dinner as well. I still haven't figured it out, but I will film it. <laughs> I can also show you some stuff in the dining room. I'm pretty sure I know where I want to go as far as decorating goes, so let me show you. Please excuse the noise. That's a fan and the air conditioner. We don't have central air here, so we have a lot of large air conditioners, like window units and stuff like that, and they're very loud. <laughs> so here's the dining room. We are going to replace this table in a little bit. Um, sorry, this room's kind of a mess, but we're going to get just one giant dining room table to like fill the room, basically. I'm going to get rid of this carpet. Look at these photos Nick hung up for me. How cool are these? It's Haunted Mansion meets Nightmare Before Christmas, and I'm obsessed with them. And then my dad got me this for my birthday. And I believe this is the Disneyland Paris version of the Haunted Mansion. And I love it even more than like the American version, to be honest. I feel like it's even creepier. Um, so I think that's gonna go on this wall. It's just completely a blank wall. And then, yeah. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna make some banana bread because I have been on the internet for a little too long today and it's only 10 o'clock, 10.30. Um, and the world is just falling apart. So now I just wanna make banana bread to get rid of all my troubles. This recipe is my mom's recipe and she's very protective of it, so unfortunately I cannot uh, give details on how I'm making it. Instead of using chocolate chips, this is the first time I've done this, but I'm going to use a chocolate bar from Trader Joe's. Um, it's this one, just the Fair Trade Organic Belgian Dark Chocolate. And I'm not sure how much I'm going to use. I usually put in way more chocolate chips than it calls for. Also, I've never used this dark of a chocolate, so. We'll see how it turns out. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself at some point. I know it. And of course Nick is at home. 
Every time I watch a YouTube video of someone cutting chocolate, it looks so easy and I'm about to like cut myself. I think the trick is to really just like push your palm into it and it keeps the chocolate from flying everywhere, which is, you know, always a plus. Oh gosh. As I was making this, I realized I ran out of butter and I don't have any butter. Um, honestly, this was a day in life video. This is pretty much how it goes. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I've been doing some Googling and it says I can use avocado oil as a replacement for butter. Normally I'll use olive oil in baking if I don't have butter, but I feel like it has such a strong flavor. I'm just gonna use avocado oil. So hopefully this goes well. <laughs> when I bring out the KitchenAid, you know things are about to get serious. That also might have been the whitest thing I've ever said. All right, here she is. I saved some chocolate for the top here, um, just because, you know, the more chocolate, the merrier. So here she goes into the oven for like 45 minutes. Okay, so the banana bread is out of the oven. It looks so good. I ate a piece <laughs> before I filmed this um, and I can say that it was super good. And I honestly couldn't taste the difference between butter and the avocado oil. I think it tastes exactly the same, which is great because that way I know that if I don't have butter, which I normally don't, um, it'll be fine for when I'm baking. So it's like 3.30 now and normally on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays my friend and I do a Bible study through Facebook video chat. So I'm going to go do that. Um, and I'll show you what app we use and stuff to make like starting a Bible study super easy. So for our study we use the app First 5 and it looks like this right here. When you open it up is what it looks like. It normally has like a little verse right here. Just some like inspirational words which is nice. You can literally start a group on here and add your friends and then it will kind of give you different books to go through and then different prompts and all that kind of stuff so it's really nice. And we've been going through Proverbs. And it's been super helpful during all this stuff going on in the world. It's definitely a good, not even, I wouldn't call it a distraction, I'd call it like help <laughs> um, during these difficult times. It's nice to just have a friend to do this with. Nice to have friends who encourage you in your faith. And I'm just really thankful for Erica and our friendship and this app <laughs> and this whole study. So let me call Erica on Facebook. Okay, so Bible study went well. I'm still really mad because my package isn't here yet and it's almost, it's like 5.30. Um, so I don't think it's gonna come today even though my email, it still says it's gonna come today. So we'll see if we get an unboxing. But I'm gonna make dinner. Um, Nala's just chilling over here. I think I'm gonna make some swordfish that I got from Trader Joe's. Um, thank you Trader Joe's and your cheap fish. Just gonna make sure they're like thawed out. <laughs> I feel like that's fine. It looks so gross. Okay, so it's like seven o'clock now, and I finally got my package in the mail. I'm very excited. Um, so this is from the Magic Candle Company, and basically it's like Disney scented candles, fragrance oils, stuff like that, based on like different theme parks and hotels. Um, some hotels have like a fragrance that they spray through the lobby so that way you kind of associate that smell with that certain hotel. So I'm obsessed with so many Disney World hotels and also I got some stuff from like different rides. So I haven't smelled anything yet but I'm going to do an unboxing right now. So I got two fragrance oils. This one's called Pirate Life and it smells like the water on Pirates of the Caribbean which will make sense to Disney World fans, <laughs> but that probably makes zero sense to other people. So, let's open it up. Oh, that smells so good. 
and it smells literally just like the rye. So these you put in your diffuser. It's the same as like essential oils. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's crazy how they like come up with these scents. This next one is called Floridian because it's what the Grand Floridian's lobby smells like. It smells like a spa. So I'm interested to see what this one's gonna smell like. It smells so good. It literally smells like when you walk in to the hotel. That's amazing. I got two air fresheners for my car. One is Haunted from the Haunted Mansion and then this one is called Animation. It's from the Art of Animation. They have a scent that's kind of like fruity, orangey that they blast through the lobby. Um, and I've stayed there quite a few times. So it's one of my favorite scents. Man, I want to open these up so bad. I have to wait until I put one in my car and then I'll let you know. They do look very cute though. And last, I got a candle called Rome Burning, which on Spaceship Earth, there is a part of the ride where you go through Rome and this scent is like blasting through there. And I don't know why, but it smells so good. And apparently a lot of other people love it too. So this one is one of my favorite scents. That's why I got a candle for them. And it smells, oh my gosh, this smells just like it. It's crazy, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. It makes me so sad that it's still closed. Hopefully we're planning a trip for next year in September, but for right now I have these scents to get me through. That's crazy. It has like a wood wick to it, which I love the wood wick candles. Nick's gonna come smell the stuff like that, because he knows what this stuff smells like. So this is Rome Bird. So it smells like um, Spaceship Bird. Like right. when, yeah, right? I when I would tell you I love that scent, smell this. Oh wow, it smells really good. It smells just like it. Yeah. It's crazy how they do that. Then this one smells like the pirate to the Caribbean water. It does smell like it. <laughs> He's shaking his head. It smells exactly like it. Okay, this one I want to put in my car first, so I'm just going to open it. <laughs> and tell you what it smells like. It smells so good. It does smell just like it. Yeah, that's my favorite. That one's, yeah, this one's our favorite because we stayed there quite a few times. <laughs> it smells so good. Okay, this one I'm going to put in my car. I didn't get too much stuff, but all the stuff together was like over $50, not including shipping, so I decided to stop there. But yeah, definitely check out their website. I literally can't stop smelling this. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll definitely be vlogging a lot more. I will have some travel vlogs coming up now that we can finally kind of move out of the state a little bit. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for those, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.